So before I start this video, I would just like to give one of my subscribers and good friends, Garrett, a shout out because the day I am filming this, it is his birthday. So happy birthday, Garrett. On to the video. So today's video is on a little bit of an older figure. It is the Walgreens exclusive Blue Line Black Series Boba Fett with prototype armor. And um, I'm really glad they made this figure. It came out a few years ago. And um, I just now picked it up, but I'm really glad they made this because uh, back in, I think it was 79, 1979, uh, there was this uh, this thing where Lucasfilm showed off the new Boba Fett character, but they didn't have any of his costume colored yet, so it was all white, it was whited out. And uh, yeah, it was pretty cool because originally he was supposed to be like a um, superior stormtrooper. But then they uh, changed him to be a bounty hunter, and that's pretty cool. And I'm really glad they decided to make this into a figure, because it is a very cool um, representation of the Boba Fett character. So anyway, let's get this figure open and see what he looks like. So we have Boba Fett out of the box here, and uh, so far, there's not a whole lot I've noticed about him that is bad. One thing I did notice, though, is that it doesn't fit on the standard Black Series stands. At least not standard. It's the one I got from the Kylo Ren throne room. Is what I use for my stands. And it has a different sized hole in the foot. I don't know if this is just the blue line figures that have this. Or if it's all of... Or I mean if it's just this figure. I'm not really sure. But um, it does kind of suck. Because I don't have any stands that work for Boba Fett. But other than that, there is not a whole lot I noticed. There is some stuff with the accessories that I will go over later. But um... Yeah, it's a pretty good figure so far. As you can tell, it is not um, the average colors of Boba Fett. It's all white. So I will throw up a um, a photo of what Boba Fett normally looks like. And then I'm also going to throw up a uh, picture of the prototype armor video for reference. And um, yeah, let's just uh, get a good look at the accessories. This figure only comes with three accessories. It comes with his jetpack and his uh, two blasters. And uh, one thing I definitely noticed about this, uh, these figures' accessories is that his blasters are really flimsy. You try to put it in his hand and it like bends really easy. I'm barely touching it and it's bending. Like, right where um, the stock meets the handle, it's very bendy. Uh, the pistol is pretty strong though and it, it definitely uh, works really well. Other than that, uh, the only thing I noticed is that his blaster pistol doesn't fit in his holster very well. So like I was saying, his blaster doesn't fit into his holster very well. So if, if I pick him up and turn him upside down here, his bl his blaster just falls right out. Uh, his holster is made out of a uh, hard plastic material. I think if it was made out of like a uh, rubber and was a little bit tighter, uh, it'd be a little bit better for the blaster so it doesn't just fall out like that. Other than that, Let's uh, let's get a close up of his uh, cape unfolded. So uh, this is very interesting. His cape is white with this uh, gray stripe along uh, both sides, and it, which is a, it's actually a square, which is interesting. That's just folded up. But uh, from the original uh, clip of Boba Fett, like him introducing po prototype Boba Fett, uh, his cape is actually a uh, black and white Star Wars beach towel. And, um, I don't know how I've, I mean, why I didn't like that on the character itself. I think it would have been a very cool thing to add on this figure because that is the only time you ever really saw prototype Boba Fett. And it would have been cool to, um, see it on this figure too because that's what the figure is based off of. And, um, it just kind of makes it inaccurate without it. So other than that, let's go to my final thoughts. So, overall, I really like this figure. Um, I'm really glad that Hasbro decided to make this figure. They really didn't have to make a prototype Boba Fett, and I'm really glad they did. I don't know why they wouldn't have. It is really just a repaint of the mold they already had. It's pretty much a no-brainer. But, um, yeah, it's just a cool figure, and I'm really glad to get it. I think I'm going to give it a 4.5 out of 5 with the, um, the loose holster and the inaccurate cape. I don't know. I, I it definitely doesn't deserve anything less than a four to five because it is an amazing figure, and I'm um, I'm super hyped to pick up the uh, carbonized Boba Fett here in the summer. So uh, I suggest this figure to any Empire Strikes Back, Return of the Jedi fans, or uh, just Boba Fett fans in general. Because who isn't a Boba Fett fan? <laughs> Peace out.